Hi guys, StratTV.com, my name is Stephen Sloan. We are live in Hoxton and I'm joined by Millions. How are you guys? Yeah, very well, thank you. Very well. Yeah. A little yeah. bit sweaty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, so before we get started, we were chatting before this was rolling. You guys are very heavily influenced by like 50s, 60s kind of stuff, quite alternative indie. Would you agree with that? Yeah, definitely. Um, we love the 60s especially. Even Blit, yeah, both. Um, actually, even going to 70s as well. Okay. Um, I'd say those would be the three decades that we, as a band, like the most. We are influenced by, you know, not specific decades or anything, just... Things we like. Whatever. Things we like. Yeah. yeah, it's like a yeah, mixed pickles, bag of pickles. lollies. Nice, mixed bag of lollies. Take that away with us. Um, so how did you guys get together? How did that all happen? How did it begin? Um, me, and Cam, me and Cam were in an old band oh, together. Yeah. yeah, well, I'm brother. I'm his brother. Wow, yeah, okay. So. Bit but, of um, Hanson situation going yeah. on. Shouldn't have said that. I've said it already. It's fine. <laughs> um, we were in an old band together and that broke up. And we tried to do a two-piece. Didn't really work. And then we had Dom's band separate to this and we're like that guy's a pretty good singer so we brought him in and then we started jamming a little bit a couple of songs formed and we recorded them and um they got picked up by radio in australia and then it just sort of uh went we, from there we needed a drummer we needed a drummer obviously to, to finish the band <laughs> yeah and that, there, there i was i just stumbled across it so yeah, well my brother brother reeled me in yeah Brotherly love. <laughs> bit of romance going on. Um, so there was a bit of a Brisbane, I, we've been doing our research and there's a bit of a Brisbane influence here. Tell us a bit about that. Um, there's a lot of, uh, I mean, we've got a lot of good friends who play in bands. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of like June Rats or Last Dinosaurs, but um, they're like guys we literally see on a daily basis. Um, we, kinda went, went to, we went to school with them and Brisbane's not a big city in Australia, but we just had growing up like friends that all played in bands and still do now so I just kind of bred more and more bands starting from that so it's not a huge community but everyone's pretty close because okay. it's small. Were you guys Gold Coast based in in Brisbane or I've been there I, I lived there for a short period. Yeah. No no, no Brisbane western sub western suburbs of Brisbane. Yeah, western suburbs. <laughs> yeah. Further away from how, the coast. How did you how did you find the Gold Coast? I loved it. I loved it. It was, it was, it was a lot of orange people. That was pleasant. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, it was interesting. It was good times. It was entertaining. Exactly, exactly. So how do you guys describe your sound then? Um, that's one of the hardest questions. Um, Very hard question. <laughs> we we, we kind of touched on it before. It's like a bit of all guitar bands that we've listened to and we all like. And we all share a lot of common interests in bands over like from 2000 to the 90s. We kind of cut out the 80s a little bit. Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that's the one decade. That's, that's not a great guitar band era. True. And then 70s. Yes. Except for the Pixies. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's late 80s. Okay. But yeah, we all really like guitar bands and stuff, so that all takes, we all take bits, bits from all that and, kind of stuff. And who did you grow up listening to? Like, who was your kind of inspiration growing up and you knew, I want to do this? Who was your kind of go-to band or artist? Uh, my, my, definitely my Touchstone album from when I was like young, when I was like 14. Li Libertine's, <laughs> Libertine's first album. Okay, was that? that's a good, al uh, good album actually. Good album. album. Um, uh, for me, it's just listening to Beatles. It's just, I'm ne never going to get there, but god damn it. I'll, you might I'll, do. Yeah, well, I don't, don't want to sell myself short, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe one day, maybe yeah. one day. Okay. If I stick at it. I guess the Strokes was one of my like. The strokes are a good time. The strokes are a good. That's a good time. That's that's me done. Campbell was obviously American. I'm pretty said it. The Offspring, <laughs> my favourite band. <laughs> if there was someone around who you know you could work with, probably not a Jay Z type, but someone else like more I guess indie rocky, who would it be? Your like you know, major well, collaboration. Do you mean I can list a lot of producers? I don't know about. We've never really collaborated like song wise, but it's, it's hard. maybe maybe Danger Mouse. Okay, Danger that'd Mouse be quite would be cool. That'd be quite cool. Oh, I find it hard enough collaborating with these three. Oh, <laughs> controversial. So lead singer. Lead singer. <laughs> he wants to be on his own pedestal. <laughs> Got a bit of a Beyonce situation happening. <laughs> I was just saying I collaborate with the rest of my bandmates, so I don't know what you guys are talking about. You find it hard enough. That's what you're saying. <laughs> Before it gets too rocky, um, <laughs> moving on a little bit. So what have you guys got planned for next year? What what can we see happening? And tell us a bit about the LP, the EP as well. Um, well, we just moved over from Brisbane, so we're here for the foreseeable future. And um, we're just writing again and playing shows around London and trying to find our feet a okay. little bit. Um, 
Yeah, we've got an EP that's out right now. It's just a few tracks that we've done in the past, and we're working on an album that will hopefully be done by the end of the year and ready, ready to go. We're kind of building towards our second album, um, but to you guys, I guess it's our first. I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> controversial, controversial. Uh, and before we go, we always throw this question out there. Is there anyone quite cringeworthy out there that you like, you know, maybe Spice Girls or like, I don't know, someone like that, that you, you, you choose not to, you could choose to mention right now? Blink-182, bloody f I fucking put it on the other day and I still know all the words, <laughs> every single word. Yes. He, he hit the nail on the head, Blink-182. I, 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 uh, popular. <laughs> oh, uh, we listen well, to I that mean, album in our room a lot. Yeah, <laughs> the Mark, Tom and Travis show, the live the album. Live albums. <laughs> do you want to do a quick, a little um, a cappella right now? Or? Say it ain't so, I will not go, turn the lights off. Carry me home. No, 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 no. It's my time. It's my time. It's my time. Right. Sophie Ellis Baxter. Yeah, Baxter. <laughs> on the dance floor was just that. That's a great video clip as well. That's a good video clip. Yeah, come on. Uh, how, how does she dance? Come on, do a little pirouette. No pressure. No pressure. I can't. Do it. I can't. Uh, stage fright. Stage fright. It's fine. It's fine. I'd I'd say I'd probably keep it Aussie and say uh, Savage Garden. Us, uh, oh, bit of the garden, bit of the garden. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, when I was seven, my uh, CD player about this big, I was loving it, and I'm still loving it, so <laughs> it's good. Okay, yeah. so back. Yeah. That was a tune, actually. <laughs> in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll leave you on that note, Savage Garden. Thanks a lot for joining us, guys, and we'll find out a lot more about you in the future. They've been a million, so it's been Distract TV, we're in London. Take care, guys, see you later.